Today, I'm going to talk about photo reception and um, how it's part of the sensory system. Most insects can detect light, so that's the form of photoreception. Some have compound eyes with multiple facets, like you can see in this picture of a mayfly male. The hemimetabolous insects will have compound eyes. Some of these insects also have light sensitive ocelli, up to three of them. You can see, you can kind of see all three. You can really see one in this picture. And the holometabolous insects lack both compound eyes and ocelli, but they have up to 12 photosensitive stomata. So we're gonna talk about three different types of insect light sensing organs today. Compound eyes aren't great for image formation, but they're really good at detecting motion and they can develop images, um, just not as good as the images that our eyes can develop. So I'm gonna talk real briefly about um, stomata and ocelli. So this is a picture of a caddisfly and you can see it doesn't really have uh, a big compound eye. It has kind of a cluster of five, of you know, a bunch of different black dots. It's a holometabolous insect. And so it has these groups of stomata on the side of its eyes. The images that it can produce are likely to be small and poorly focused. A hemimetabolous insect has compound eyes and often ocelli. And here you can see two really prominently. The ocelli probably detect light um, and its quality and intensity, but they can't form images, but the compound eyes can. So um, how do these eyes convert light energy? So light is comes in um, full spectrum light, possibly if at the surface of water or different spectra of light if they're underwater. And then that light is focused into photoreceptors. The light energy is then converted into chemical energy and the chemical energy is relayed to optical nerves that help the organism to respond to the light. Um, that optic lobe of the brain and is connected with the sensory system. And so those, um, that information comes into the brain and allows the organism to, um, to react. So most of the light energy that insects can see is in the range of 350, which is in the ultraviolet. You can see it's off the visible light spectrum. It's um, smaller wavelengths than the visible purple light that's shown here. But up, insects can only really see up to about 700, which is into the red, but not even all of the red and definitely not into the infrared. The main pigment that they use to detect light, uh, to, sorry, to convert light energy into chemical en energy is rhodopsin. And um, basically, I'm going to pause the video here and we're going to go on to the properties of light and water because that's necessary to understand how insects see. <laughs> 